actually we have some time until we hear that. And now let's listen in for the confirmation of precision lock. All right, we expect to be in precision lock soon. waiting for confirmation of precision block. MSC, this is SN5. Go ahead, SN5. We are precision locked and still tracking Dimorphos. Yes. So I'm going to hear again from Elena right. Adams. Um, this is great. Um, this is Dart MSC on D2 Mach. So this was our last milestone. At this point, we're going to be uh, working towards Dimorphos. I expect we're going to do some burns. We're about 4,500 miles away from Didymos and Dimorphos. So let's see what happens. All right, we've reached five minutes from impact. The final command opportunity to SmartNav has passed, and the team is simply watching that data stream in just like we are. Also remember, there is a 30 second, 38 second lag for the data to travel to Earth, and also an additional few more seconds for image processing. It's important to note that. should be hearing the chatter in the Mission Operations Center momentarily. This is DART MSC on DT Mach. Five minutes till impact. Five minutes till impact. We are at 1,100 miles away. Also, our window for sending any commands to the spacecraft is done. <laughs> Contingency is done. <laughs> this is a great vibe in that mission right. operation center right now, Lori. It really is. Um, they are so excited. And you know, I, I'm honing and looking at these images as we get closer and closer, and you look at Didymos and just you're starting to see the this physical body appear there. It's incredible. Just incredible. I'm still having a hard time believing this is real energy coming in near real time. Yeah. Yeah, but you've been watching it over the last, you know, 30, 45 minutes go from just being a collection of individual pixels and now you can actually see the shape and the the shading and texture of, of Didymos and we're gonna see that same thing with Dimorphos as we get closer and closer. It's just so cool. Never Are before seen Uber? images of the Morphos will be come into stark relief. Absolutely. Seconds before impact. Didymos, it's amazing. Yeah. All right. The team is standing just recognizing this moment years in the making. It is really nice to see them relax a little bit, get off from those computers that they've been glued to and just appreciate this moment that's coming. Yeah, and they've earned this. Um, it's just great to see him there. This is so cool. Lori, we hit another major milestone. We are now 
two minutes and a half from impact and SmartNav has stopped maneuvering the spacecraft. DART is now coasting toward Dimorphos and we hope into the history books. <laughs> Absolutely. This will be, I'm sure you've heard it many times tonight, uh, humanity's first ever ever attempt at trying to move another celestial body and also our first attempt ever to execute a, uh, a mission in the you know, sole purpose of planetary defense. So what an exciting, exciting time. Yeah, and I'm starting to see Dimorphos start to come into view there. You can see it starting to take shape. I'm starting to see individual boulders on Didymos. Um, unbelievable. Unbelievable clarity of the images there. Coasting on in, our projected mist distance is going to be about 17 meters. All right. <laughs> All eyes on this event. Space telescopes, ground telescopes from every continent on Earth. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Two minutes out. Does not look like one single rock to me. Oh, boy, we're getting close. 14,000 miles per hour, Lori. 14,000 miles per hour. And remember, you know, uh, 45 minutes ago, 55 minutes ago, we couldn't even resolve this this object in space. And now we are, you can see us zeroing in right on target. And we're now dropping the clock and we'll go by loss of signal to confirm impact. Right. Yes. Imagine we'll get that loss of signal and then we'll hear from Lena Adams again. Um, letting us know that we've like been we'll successful. Know. I feel like that'll be a crystal clear <laughs> signal. I think so. I think we're starting to see more, uh, more resolution. In fact, look at that. Didymos has even come out of the view. We're now just seeing Dimorphos. This is remarkable stuff. Oh my goodness! Look at that. Looks like control system settling down. Angular rates look really good. I think we're going to get the investigation team some good pictures. Wow. No, no, come on. We can do better than that. <laughs> Starting to see those individual boulders there. We can see shadows of uh, the various rocks on the surface. Impact. It's amazing, guys. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Unbelievable. Yeah. Looks to me like we're headed straight in. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Eight, yeah. Seven, oh, six, wow. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. We're getting visual confirmation. We got it. Waiting. And we have the eternity personality in the name of planetary defense. Fantastic. Oh, fantastic. Oh. What? <laughs> what a moment. Very few words can really capture this moment. This is beautiful to watch. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. What a team. What, what a team and a what an accomplishment. Team. A few weeks ago, they had their last dress rehearsal. They were getting emotional at the dress rehearsal. And they're like, this is this is crazy. We're getting emotional. This is not the real thing. I can only imagine what they are feeling <laughs> right now. Yes. Well, you can see them there on screen. They're all pretty excited. Wow. Hearing impact, the curtains close on Draco feed. That raw joy from the team, years of hard work and the weight of expectation lifted off their shoulders. This is this is amazing. Fantastic. This is beautiful. And Lori, really, this is a huge moment for the mission, lots more work. 
needs to happen in the days of the Absolutely. Science. Now, you know, as I always say, it's one of my favorite missions. Now is when the science starts. It just starts now. Now that we've uh, impacted, now we're going to see for real how effective we were. We're going to train all of those ground-based telescopes um, on the Didymos dimorphous system, and we're going to make measurements that will help us uh, determine just how, what its orbit looks like now relative to what it was before. So it's going to be great. Very cool. All right, this is when science, engineering, and a great purpose, planetary defense, come together and, you know, it makes a magical moment like this. Yeah, really. absolutely. And you can see so many people there that have made this happen. Uh, the team of APL engineers um, that have really poured their souls into this mission. Laurie, any last words to mark this historic moment? Oh, we're, we're embarking on a new era of humankind, um, an era in which we potentially have the capability to protect ourselves from something like a dangerous, hazardous asteroid impact. What an amazing thing. We've never had that capability before. Thank you so much, Laurie. Those are poignant last words. Tahira, history has been made. Back to you. Wow. I mean, what an exciting day for the DART team. And in, in case you're keeping score, humanity won, asteroids zero. Now, I'm here with Nancy Chabot, DART coordination lead. Nancy